Hey guys, it's your girl Carice, and today I'm back with another content, but this time it is beauty. So today I'm planning on going to the esthetician and I am getting my freckles or sunspots, you say, removed. Right now I have them covered. I'll just, I'm gonna wipe away just one side just to show you guys that my sunspots are pretty bad. I did a really good job in like trying to cover them, but do you see that? Like I packed it on. If you can see, like here I have it more up here. Here I have a lot under my eyes. I think it's from like driving back in Cali. Like the sun would just like hit like rigorously on left side of my face. So if you see up close, yeah, and I just don't like to ha like put an extra time in putting like so many layers of concealer just to like hide this. So I'm gonna get them removed. So basically, it's a laser treatment. I've never done it before, so I'm kind of nervous about it, but I'm really excited at the same time. But I want to definitely share my journey. Yeah, after my acting class today, I'm gonna go ahead and go and I'm gonna film everything so stay tuned this is the place that I went to it's called moon clinic and it's on the ninth floor and as you can see it's like super beautiful inside like very aesthetic very clean looking and this is the place basically where I got my meeting with the person in charge also if you can see there's like a booklet where you can see what procedures they, they do like for example like this one is an ema for your for your forehead you have different fillers that you could do and you could even do like your chin like other procedures uh, I just stuck with the laser for my freckles and sunspots and um, so this is basically the inside where uh, they tell you to take off all of your makeup and I think honestly it's really nice it's really clean and so that's me kind of embarrassing so there's also a room that they just like provide for you where you can stay for during your procedure <laughs> this is the part where uh, they're putting nummy cream on my face so they went ahead and put it like here here and like down here oh we're going to be doing it but maybe the audience doesn't want to wear it and there's a lot of people who are wearing it 음. 근데 거의 한 여기 볼 쪽으로 많이 들어가시거든요. 네. 좀 볼만한 줄 알고. 신기해. 저는 그래서 음. 이렇게 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 음. 이런 식으로 발라드려요. 코도 살짝 좀 발라드리고. You can tell I just look like Santa Claus. 거의 볼 쪽에 많이 들어가서. 심심하네. <웃음> 이 went ahead and put like this plastic wrap on it. So and I think the purpose of this is just to like make sure it doesn't go anywhere or if I move it won't like, you know, get everywhere. So I had to like sit like this for about a good 15 to 20 minutes for like the nubby cream to actually go in. I couldn't take a video of the actual procedures because it was part of like the policies or whatnot. So um, this was afterwards. They're giving me a facial, like a cooling massage, and with this tool. 오늘 이따가 이제 딱지가 올라오는 거예요. 맞아요. 사람마다 좀 다르긴 하시는데 빠르시면 오늘 저녁부터도 올라오실 수 있고 내일 아침 되시면 다 올라와 있긴 하실 거예요. 피부 보호 차원에서 올라오는 거기 때문에 최대한 딱지가 오래 동안 피부에 유지해 주 부착돼 있는 게 좋으시고요. 7일에서 한 10일 정도까지도 가시거든요. 소품 세안 하실 때 거품 최대한 많이 내셔가지고 네. 살살 분질러 주시고 딱지 잘안 떨어지게 네. 몸을 조심해 주시면 되세요. 이게 딱지가 거분 깨처럼 좀 따다다다 음. 생기실 거라 화장으로 가리 조금 어려우실 수 있으세요. 음. 드디어 주근깨랑 이별한 거예요. <웃음> <웃음> Okay, I don't even know how I ended up getting this footage because like my face was covered They did like a whole mask and then literally the only thing I could do is breathe Okay, just literally they just finished um, with my facial. It's like really red 
but honestly they were so nice and just this whole facility is like amazing and it didn't really take that long and then also the workers here they're really really nice and they were just like constantly you know like talking to me like telling me what i need to be aware of and stuff like that and yeah super super nice i really like that but apparently this is supposed to turn into scabs in the morning so we'll see how that turns out so hey guys so i'm checking back on the same day i got the laser done yeah they said that it might be stinging like throughout the day but honestly no stinging right after my procedure though like when i came out it was pretty cold so actually it, I, I felt like a little bit of like those you know when you wash your face and your face gets like super dry like it has like this pulling sensation it was kind of like that but definitely like walking out and like the whole cold wind hitting my face it was actually pretty cooling like it was really refreshing in a way i don't know how to explain it but yeah as you can see it was like really red when i first got the procedure done but now it's starting to turn brownish and i have no makeup on honestly i'm kind of like they told me stuff like how to like wash my face and whatnot but i'm like i don't know i'm, I'm scared like what if i do it wrong i don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and just use foam cleanser i'm planning on only putting makeup on my eyes and my eyebrows not really my face tomorrow or like throughout the week because i really want this to heal fast so it's the night time it's uh, around 10 ish and i got the procedure do done at 1 30 so it has been like nine hours now but yeah you guys want to want a close up you can see that it the redness is now turning brown and i mean it's like kind of starting to itch like it did itch like a few times here and there and i like almost forgot that i had the procedure done and i was like wait uh. like it looks like it's scabbed already and like it looks like if you like touch it it'll be like kind of like bumpy but it's not it's just like my skin i gotta go to bed so ciao hey guys so it is day two and basically this is how it looks it doesn't seem like it got any darker than yesterday to be quite honest but it is definitely darker than my regular freckles it's supposed to start like scabbing off as as the days go by and i just ate breakfast too this morning i totally i like completely forgot i had it on and i don't know why i started to itch so i like i literally put my hand like like right there and i like went down a little bit and i was like Ugh. and then I that's the moment i realized i made a mistake and it kind of like stung for a little bit but it was okay my dog kind of like goes like on my face sometimes without me like expecting it so that's when it hurts but um, other than that it looks pretty good mm, don't mind my little like nose blackheads please but yeah this is the morning of day two hey guys so it's day three since my procedure and if you can see it's starting to peel off a little bit more on this side as you can see a lot of scabs came off but there are parts here that looks like the scab did come off. The freckle didn't completely go away, it seems like. But it has reduced in pigmentation. Because it used to be a lot darker than this. So it's definitely lightened it. You can see there are areas where the scab has already fallen, like here as well. And I have a few scabs left. So I just have a feeling that it's just gonna lighten over time. I just been using um, like if I put a little bit of mascara I just use a little bit of oil um, and I would kind of like push upwards so that like, none of the oil like falls down to my cheeks but I would just have it just clean it up like this like upwards. I make sure I don't use an oil foam cleanser or I don't use any type of oil cleanser because what it's gonna do it's going to mess up the pigmentation and the healing process here so um, the doctor the dermatologist did advise to stay away from it so I'm gonna listen to her and so I've been using just a pH 
cleansing foam and what I do is I make a lot a lot of foam and try as much as possible just to lather the foam all over my face and then afterwards I don't rub my face at all I just take a handful of water and I just splash it on my face to get rid of the soap even when I dry my face I don't just like rub it off I literally pat dry I uh, usually when I use toner for my skincare I would use a cotton swab and then like kind of swipe off the excess I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to like peel or push or pull anything so I've been using actually like an ample mist so I've been just putting that mist on and after that mist was a little bit dry I would go ahead and put on my moisturizer put a lot of it on and that would be just the end of my skincare i think i'm going to be doing that for the rest of this week today i am going out i'm going to make sure i put a lot of sunscreen because the sun will make it change colors because i'm going to wear a mask anyway so if you can get away with it like get away with it you know so i'm going to do my eyes and my eyebrows and that's probably all i'm going to do it is day four since my laser treatment. Still can see the scabs on my face, but actually a lot in the middle fell off. I feel like this side, a lot of it fell off as well. As you can see, there's like, I can notice like a huge difference. Um, it's like very noticeable in the pigmentation. Uh, ignore the blackheads, but the pigmentations of my freckles all have lightened like I, I think like 75% hey guys it is my fourth day since the procedure I guess it's because I had a lot less on this side it's like peeling off faster so if you see up close a lot of the scabs fall they're not completely gone but they have lightened and that is good so it does get a little itchy but other than that fine but don't touch your face it is day eight so i couldn't do two days just really lost track of time but i wanted to give you an update on what day eight looks like and actually uh there's a big dramatic change i think from the previous recording well as you can see here Please excuse my pores, but if you can see here, most of the scab has fallen off or my freckles got really light like compared to what it was before. I'm actually really satisfied with it. So I still have some scabs left here. I'm pretty satisfied with this laser. I feel like if I get another treatment, one more treatment, they'll kind of disappear completely. It is pricey, I'm going to say, but I feel like it's worth it. My skin looks pretty good. All right, so just want to talk a little bit more in depth about my whole procedure. If you go to the Moon Clinic, uh, it's located in Gangnam. It's actually very hard to find. <laughs> you have to go on the side of the building or have to go to the basement and then go to the ninth floor. And that's the only way you can go in. The customer service, I would say, is pretty tops on I would say the price range can vary the one that I got I'm not gonna say the exact amount but I paid roughly $300 to $400 dollars they told they did specifically tell me that bef the first round it's not gonna take away everything like it's impossible they said you have to do it a, like around two times one good thing about this place is that after a month you could get a retouch and you can get a special discount if you go in the three months period of when you got the procedure then they'll only charge you Shimano which is like $100 plus tax which is another $10 so $110 in total so honestly it's pretty good and the only requirement is that you go on their cafe site on Naver and you just do like kind of like a before and after like review and that's like the only catch and so I'm planning on doing it hey guys so this is exactly a month from getting my laser treatment. So if you can see, I'm gonna try to go up close. I have an ample on my face at the moment, but the freckles that I had lightened up so much. It's pretty crazy. I feel like if I do it again, which I will, it's gonna completely disappear. But they did tell me that it's not gonna fully disappear until like two sessions. You can still see it and it, I'm red right now because I just washed my face. You can still see the sunspot. This side you can see because there was a lot more here. It's still there but it's lightened up a lot. But if you look here, almost all gone. Like you can't even notice. And even from here, like 
from here you would be able to notice my freckles before my procedure now it doesn't look like I have any freckles at all right and so like my skin looks really really clean <laughs> like I really like it I'm so happy with the outcome and so yeah anyhow if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me um message me comment down below and i hope you guys really like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye